guys, it's Jeff Chan from MMA Shredded, and today I'm going to be breaking down how I defeated my last opponent with basic ground and pound and low kicks. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. So there was five primary tactics I used to land my low kicks. The first one being the off rhythm low kick. So in the first round, as well as throughout the fight, I blasted the legs without any setups. For the most part, just feeling up my opponent and really utilizing my speed, explosiveness, and timing to land the low kicks. You can see here that I used the inside low kick quite a lot. The second tactic was to set up some hands with the inside low kick. So as my opponents start to check that inside low kick, I would use the inside low kick to set up the jab cross, one of my favorite setups. The jab should land at the same time my lead leg lands the ground, followed by a cross. A third tactic was using feints to set up the low kicks. So I would feint by rolling my shoulder and twisting my hips, essentially throwing my punch less than halfway to get my opponent focused on the hands and go hard on the inside or outside low kick. As you can see here, after fainting the cross so much, I can then actually pull the trigger and land a dart and cross, and then comb my hair for some style points. The fourth low kick tactic is to throw actual punches to set up the low kick. In this fight specifically, it was a jab to the outside low kick, the jab cross to the inside low kick, or the hook to the outside low kick. So here, I just threw the jab and into an outside low kick. Over here, I pushed off my lead foot and threw the left hook while I began to lift my right foot into the air. My lead hook lands at the same time my right foot lands on the ground. Then I push off that right foot and take another step 45 degrees with my lead foot to chop the leg. Because I am throwing the hook with my rear leg up in the air, there is no power in the left hook, but it disguises and speeds up the double step low kick. And lastly, here I threw the jab cross, missed, but followed it up with an inside low kick. The fifth tactic was the most used in this fight, and it's simply to counter my opponent's punch with low kicks. Every time he threw a punch, I would either simultaneously chop the leg or parry the punch and then chop the leg. When your opponent throws a punch, his leg is planted and therefore cannot check or dodge it. Now after going low so many times, it's a good idea to go high. So here is a step into the left high kick, a rear keep to the face, and a rear roundhouse kick to the head, but that didn't land. After I landed so many low kicks to the lead leg, my opponent switched his stance. So I simply attacked the lead leg and used my favorite tactics against a southpaw, the hand trap into a cross. and onto the ground and pound. It's my personal preference to keep the fight standing even though I am confident in my Jiu Jitsu. However, if I see the opportunity to go for a takedown, I will take it. Every time I took my opponent to the ground was because I caught his kick, swept him, or just because I fell into a perfect situation to tie up. Once on the ground, I kept it very simple. I would posture up or pop to my feet. And if I popped up to my feet, I would keep one leg back and to base and drive my hips forward then drop down hard with elbows and punches using my lead side. If my opponent kept my posture broken and kept me down, I would keep my head on his chest, control his bicep with my palms, and look to throw little shots to the head, then posture up again and come down hard with punches.
please check out my new course that I put all my time into these last couple of months. It is called the MMA Striker and is designed for MMA fighters focused on keeping their fights standing, just like former UFC champions Conor McGregor, Max Holloway, and Jose Aldo to name a few. This 19 chapter curriculum covers tactics that I believe help the striking focused fighter, going through both basic and advanced strikes, countering different fighting strategies and styles, important grappling techniques, escaping some of the most dangerous positions if the fight is taken to the ground, and how to stand back up. You guys know me as a coach that strongly believes in passing on techniques that I wholeheartedly believe work in the cage. So everything in the curriculum is backed up with real-time sparring footage. 